Are there differences in sexual response between men and women? What role does communication play in sexual satisfaction? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. There are differences in sexual response between men and women, but individual variability is key. Although there are similarities in the phases of desire, arousal, and orgasm, individual experiences can vary widely due to biological, hormonal, and psychological factors. Communication plays a crucial role in sexual satisfaction. Speaking openly and honestly with your partner about desires, boundaries, and expectations promotes mutual understanding. Communication also helps build emotional intimacy, strengthening the connection and enhancing the quality of sexual life. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Alcohol and drug effects. Excessive alcohol consumption and certain drug use can affect sexual function in men, sometimes making it challenging to achieve orgasm. Anal sex and pregnancy. Anal sex does not lead to pregnancy, but it is important to practice contraceptive methods if the couple does not wish to conceive. Association. Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size and beauty is subjective. Benefits of self-exploration, sexual self-exploration or masturbation is a healthy way to learn about one's body and discover what brings pleasure. It can also help relieve stress and improve sexual function. Breast size and desire. Studies have shown that there is no significant correlation between a woman's breast size and her ability to arouse sexual desire in others. Attractiveness is subjective and varies from person to person. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm, derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix this type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. Clitoral size. The clitoris is an erectile organ containing over 8,000 nerve endings, but only a small part is externally visible. Most of the clitoris is located inside the body and extends to the base of the vulva. Common challenges. Pain during anal sex usually indicates that something is not going well. Open communication and adaptation are essential to overcome potential challenges. Common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. Confidence. Confidence is a trait that many people find attractive. Women are often drawn to men who demonstrate self-assurance in themselves and their actions. Continued education. Ongoing education about anatomy, sexual health, and safe practices is key to ensuring healthy and consensual sexual experiences. Creativity. Creativity and the ability to express oneself through art, music, or other creative forms can be attractive. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. Different types of orgasm. Some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Diversity of practices. Human sexuality is incredibly diverse and, in many cases, unique. From the most conventional practices to the most alternative, people can find pleasure and satisfaction in very different ways. Respecting sexual diversity is essential Dry orgasm and prostate health. Men experiencing dry orgasms without ejaculation may do so due to prostate health issues such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Consulting a doctor is important in these cases. Effects on the body. During a male orgasm, muscles contract and semen is released. This fluid release is part of the reproductive process and may contain sperm for fertilization. Ejaculation and orgasm. Unlike men, ejaculation and orgasm do not always occur together in women. A woman can experience an orgasm without ejaculating and vice versa. 
Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Empowerment of the partner. Valuing and supporting the growth and success of the partner is important in a relationship. Erogenous zones. In addition to the genitals, the human body has many erogenous zones. Lips, ears, neck, and other areas can be highly sensitive to touch and caresses, contributing to sexual arousal. Exploring these zones can enrich intimacy. Eroticism in literature. Erotic literature has been an integral part of writing throughout history. Famous authors like Anais Nin, Henry Miller, and E.L. James have contributed to this literary genre. Evolution of contraceptives. Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Facial hair. Features like sideburns, mustaches, or beards can also be attractive, depending on individual preferences. The fear of oral sex, known as patholophobia, is a condition in which a person experiences intense and irrational fear of oral sex. It can be treated with therapy. Female orgasms in an hour, worldwide, the record for female orgasms in an hour was set at 134 orgasms in a scientific study. In comparison, during the same period, men reached a maximum of 16 orgasms. This fact highlights the complexity and variability of sexual responses between genders. The frenulum, the strip of tissue connecting the glands to the body of the penis, is highly sensitive and can be a source of pleasure during sexual activity. Half man, half woman, hermaphroditism is a condition in which a person is born with both male and female physical characteristics. While uncommon, it sheds light on the diversity of human biology. Highly sensitive area. The area around the anus contains numerous nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and pleasurable zone for many women. Humility. Humility and the ability to admit mistakes and learn from them are attractive traits. Hypoactive sexual desire is a condition in which a person has chronically low sexual desire. It may be due to physical, emotional factors, or a combination of both, and is often addressed with sexual therapy. Influence of food on sex. Some foods are considered aphrodisiacs due to their supposed ability to increase sexual desire. Popular examples include chocolate, oysters, and avocado. Influence of smell on attraction. Smell plays a significant role in sexual attraction. Certain pheromones and body odors have been shown to influence attraction between individuals. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.